Have you thought about DIYing an escape room for your group or fundraiser and you just don't know where to start? Designing puzzles for an escape room can be the funnest and hardest part of the whole process. There are lots of different kinds of puzzles that you can make, different types, and you want a variety in there so your team doesn't get bored while they're playing the game. When you're making these puzzles, you're only limited by your imagination. Today, and in day three, I'm going to show you two more types, or two more simple puzzles that you can make for your escape room. My name is Celeste, and I am the owner-operator of Escape from Reality by Golden Key Games. And today is day three of your 31 days of puzzles. Today we're talking about math puzzles. Math puzzles can be a simple way to get a, a, a quick little puzzle in the room to open up a box and get another piece for another puzzle. It can be as simple or as difficult as you want it to be, depending on your players or your audience. Okay, so for, for my games, I just do a simple, um, quick math problem that you don't even need to do with a calculator. You can just, you can do it in your head. Um, but there is ways to make that harder without having to make them use a calculator. So I have two examples of math problems that I've used in the escape room. And these might be called a logic problem or puzzle, or they might be called a rebus puzzle. Whatever you call them, they're simple and you can make them as hard or as easy as you want them to be. So this first one was for a Halloween room. Now I'm going to hold it up to the camera. And so basically it was, it's this right here. And so the players are to, you know, use the pictures to figure out each of the ones. So this one was 2018, I believe was the answer to this one. So then they would use the 2018 to open up another lock. This one's fairly easy. My players are ages 10 and up and they've had no trouble with this. I usually try to design the math problems so that a fifth grader could do them. This kind of puzzle was easy to make. I just made it on my computer. I use Microsoft Publisher. There's plenty of other software solutions you could use to put something together like this. At the time, my desired code was going to be 2018 because that's the year that I did this, um, the first year of my Halloween room. And so I made it 2018. The second puzzle I made a little harder. It's the same type of puzzle, but I made it a little more challenging. Okay, and, and I, I put a little more work into making it so it would fit the theme better. So these are all things you got to kind of keep in mind. This one's a little bigger. Um, this one I made for the Bigfoot room. I made the puzzle and then I in imported it into my Cricut and cut it out and I ironed it on. So this is what I got here. So this one is a little more difficult because um, I went a little more detailed on this one. And if you look at the bottom, the one footprint is missing a toe. And that's what tripped up most of my players in this game that I had this year is that one toe because then they were off by a number of 10 when they did the math. And so even though it was easy for them to come up with an answer, it wasn't necessarily the correct answer. And it, uh, and it did kind of slow them down a little bit. So if you're trying to find something that's a little more challenging, you could do something like that. You can make it more detailed. So those are two examples of ways you can use a math problem in your escape room. Subscribe to our channel to follow our 31 days of puzzles or to get more information on how you can make your own escape room.